Hello, it's Renee Vangelsdorf again, founder of the Clear Skies Club, CEO of Charlie Bravo Aviation, and author of the book Crushing Mediocrity. Welcome to video number two of my 40,000 foot game changer workshop. In this video, I'm going to give you some tips and let you in on some little known secrets about how to skip the headaches of commercial aviation and regain control of your schedule and your top priorities. If you're an influencer trying to spread your message without spreading yourself too thin, or if you're a small or mid-sized business owner, but aren't growing as much as you want to in an expanding economy, in this video, you'll discover how the world's most successful leaders wisely use private aviation to increase their significance without endangering their profitability. In video number one, we talked about how Sam Walton used a $2,000 plane to build the Walmart empire, what Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton know about the value of face-to-face -face interactions, and how a Texas-based financial advisor took the exact same travel budget from commercial airlines to private aviation and doubled her business while reducing stress. I shared how using private aviation can be a competitive differentiator and why it's critical that you consider the options right now. The martyr mindset of sacrificing your time and convenience by flying commercial might be crushing more opportunities than you know. So if you haven't seen that video, go back and watch it now and then come back to this one. Today, I'm going to build on what we discussed by highlighting some options for flying privately you may not have considered or maybe you just haven't heard of them because who in the world can keep up with all the apps and all the options and all the new marketing schemes in every aspect of life? The goal here is to break you free of the martyr mindset that says you're wasting money by flying privately. I aim to open your eyes to some new possibilities, help you come up with a balanced plan for when and how to fly privately, and set you free to spend more time with the things or people that matter the most. Anytime you're trying to push to the next level in business or in life, it's inevitable you'll hit roadblocks. You may know you need to visit more clients or prospects or potential partners face to face, but the time constraints make it nearly impossible. You've done the road warrior thing in the past, traveling all the time and waking up not knowing if you're in Atlanta or Oakland. After a while, you just get tired of it. But when you cut back, you feel guilty that you're not doing all you can to build a legacy for your kids or your business colleagues, or you're cheating those who could really be impacted by your message. Or maybe you're in a situation where you have a board of directors or a business partner, or even a group of shareholders who don't see the return on investment of flying privately. They see it as a luxury or an endless drain on the bottom line. You know it could really help, but you feel guilty about pushing the envelope because like my Nana, who I mentioned in the last video, you don't wanna seem pretentious or narcissistic. Or maybe you've had a bad experience with flying privately before. Some industry expert saw dollar signs written all over you and gave you advice that turned out not to be in your best interest. Maybe you bought a plane above market value or one that needed a lot of maintenance that was not disclosed. Perhaps you got stuck in a fractional ownership program that frankly didn't look so appealing when the bottom fell out of the stock market. Or you booked a charter flight through an acquaintance and the experience was not what you thought you were paying a lot of money for. These things, the unsustainable schedule, the unjustifiable ROI, and the frustrated consumer scenarios are fairly common. That's why in this video, I'm gonna break down the options and costs and show you how to regain control of your schedule, use private aviation as a tool without endangering your profits, and expand your business or influence without sacrificing what matters most. First, I wanna break down a few terms so we're operating from the same base language. And I would encourage you to download the worksheet that accompanies this video so you can follow along. There are a lot of options to cover. Everyone is familiar with the airlines. Delta, Southwest, Air Canada, Emirates, and others like them are what we refer to as commercial aviation. 
In the U.S., they operate under FAA Federal Aviation Regulations, Part 121. Private aviation operates under different parts of those regulations, either Part 91 for completely non-commercial flights, or Part 135 for flights on an aircraft with seating for less than 19 that are operated for compensation or higher. That's the main type of operation we will focus our attention on today. This type of flight exists in just about every country, although some of the local rules may differ from country to country. And there are lots of options to consider. Fractional ownership is the first thing I wanna discuss because it's been around for a long time and it's still a popular and viable private aviation option. NetJets is the biggest fractional provider with more than 700 private jets in operation worldwide. The company is owned by Berkshire Hathaway and has been around for decades. With this type of a solution, you own a fraction of an aircraft, from 1 16th up to a quarter share, which gives you access to a certain number of hours on the aircraft. NetJets has a diverse fleet, and some clients own a fraction of several different sizes of aircraft to meet their different missions a long-range jet to fly to Europe, and a light jet for state-to-state -state trips, for instance. With fractional ownership, you get the benefit of accelerated tax depreciation, and you have access to different planes should your travel needs change. The provider takes care of the acquisition and all the fixed costs and operations, so your involvement in the assets management is minimal. During and even after the recession, a number of companies that previously owned aircraft eliminated their flight departments and switched to a fractional model. Besides NetJets, other leaders include FlexJet and Flight Options, and all three offer a lease or purchase option. Just to give you an idea, a 1 16th share of a mid-sized jet capable of flying across the U.S. may cost around a million dollars for initial buy-in, plus $15,000 in a monthly management fee and $4,000 an hour in operating costs. I know that may sound like a lot, but stay with me here because I started with the most expensive commitment outside of full aircraft ownership. It gets cheaper from here. NetJets, FlexJet, and Flight Options, as well as companies like Sentient Jet, ExoJet, and JetLynx also offer jet cards which consists of prepaid hours on a specific type or size of private jet. They don't involve ownership and are typically renewed on an annual basis. The benefits of this solution include a pre-negotiated, often discounted rate on charter flights from one operator. Typically more hours can be added if needed or a larger aircraft can be substituted if the passenger list expands. Jet cards are typically available in 25 or 50 hour increments and 25 hours on that same mid-sized jet should cost somewhere between $150,000 and $180,000. On-demand charter is the option with the lowest level of commitment you can have. Though you typically have to book at least 12 hours in advance so the operator has pilots in the cockpit, many charters are reserved with fairly short notice. I've booked a helicopter for a client for less than $500 for real estate surveying. I've also worked on round-the-world charter trips on an ultra-long-range G550 for half a million dollars. It all depends on where you're going, how many people you need to take, and how picky you are about the plane on which you fly. Local charter operators with smaller or older aircraft may be less expensive, but at the other end of the spectrum, operators like VistaJet in Europe offer a highly tailored experience. For $11,000 to $16,000 an hour, VistaJet will fly you almost anywhere in the world with just 24 hours notice, and that's on a plane guaranteed to be less than five years old. The company launched an app last year that allows clients to pre-select anything from entertainment to catering. This means you can enjoy sashimi from Nobu while binge watching your favorite show and have a private car or helicopter meet you when you land. Hey, by the way, no matter what kind of charter flight you book, please remember that safety is more important than Wi-Fi, and you cannot take this for granted. Make sure the operator is licensed and has an independent safety audit certification. Borrowing your friend's plane might be cheaper, but only if nothing bad happens. That brings me to the more interesting options that have popped up in the last several years. Jet Smarter offers a subscription-based model which gives members access to flights on their shuttles between popular city pairs like New York to Miami or Kuwait to Dubai 
for no charge. The company also buys empty legs or repositioning flights on charter aircraft and allows members to fly free or at a nominal charge on those flights as well. Because all of its members have undergone a background check, JetSmarter is able to arrange shared charter where one member books a private charter flight and offers to sell the empty seats to other members. My next door neighbor just booked a charter from Austin to New Orleans for the weekend for just $10,000 using the charter service. JetSmarter operates worldwide, has a diverse base of investors, and claims more than 6,700 members. At the time we recorded this video, the annual membership fee was just $9,000. Well worth the price if you are a frequent traveler originating in a popular metropolitan area. Wheels Up is primarily a US-based service, also based on a subscription model. The initiation fee is higher at $17,500 for a personal or family program with $8,500 in annual dues thereafter. But you get the whole plane, not just a seat. Corporate membership, which allows for a broader passenger list, costs roughly 50% more for enrollment. The flight hours are charged the same way for both programs. You have guaranteed availability with 24 hours of notice on a King Air 350 for just over $4,000 for every hour that you are flying, or $7,000 per hour for the Citation XLS, which is a very popular charter jet. These hourly rates are higher than ad hoc charter rates on the same planes, but wheels up charges are all inclusive, meaning there are no relocation charges or additional crew fees for overnight stays. This is great for people who typically fly one way or have round trips with a longer duration. It also gives wheels up some empty legs, which they typically offer to their members as hot deals, selling individual seats or the whole cabin for the cost of a nice dinner. Wheels Up uses celebrity ambassadors to market its service, and members benefit with exclusive once-in-a-lifetime event opportunities through its Wheels Down program. Both JetSmarter and Wheels Up, along with a number of other providers, have been searching for that magic formula to become somewhat of an Uber of the skies. I'll review some of the others for you in a few minutes, but before you get too excited, it's important to note some of the limitations. The first is obviously operations costs, and the second is supply. While there might be thousands of Uber-approved vehicles in any major city, there are only 2,400 or so aircraft in the U.S. approved for private commercial use. The third limitation, and the most serious one, is safety. Getting onto a shuttle bus with a bunch of people you don't know or who haven't been through safety screenings is one thing. Getting on a plane is something totally different, and one that is restricted by current federal aviation regulations. You really want to know who you're going to be stuck in the air with, and you want the operator to know as well. Right now, on charter flights, shared flights, or shuttles, this is done in advance either through passenger vetting or membership programs. It will be interesting to see if this changes in the future. Another big player in the private aviation space is setting themselves up for some changes. JetSuite is a charter operator that built its business on fixed rates on the light jet model Phenom 100 and Citation CJ3. JetSuite has recently rolled out a service called JetSuite X, which provides scheduled shuttles on an Embraer 135, a regional jet configured with just 30 passenger seats. Their current service flies mostly between cities in California, with expansion planned later in 2017. The trips are comparable in price to commercial airline service, but they depart from private terminals, with much less hassle than the normal TSA procedures at the public terminal. With a CEO whose background in aviation started at JetBlue, we will certainly see more innovation with commercial and private crossover from JetSuite in the coming years. Another California company taking advantage of passengers' frustration with busy roads and airport congestion is Surf Air, which offers shared flights aboard its fleet of the Swiss-made Pilatus aircraft between select cities and Cali. This model uses a monthly membership fee around $2,000 per month, which includes unlimited flights between set city pairs. You can only have two reservations at a time for that price, 
but if you do business all over the state, it's definitely convenient. In Texas, Rise Aviation offers a similar service between Dallas, Houston, and Austin. Pricing is similar to Surf Air at $1,950 a month, but the service is provided on the twin-engine King Air 350 rather than the Pilatus that Surf Air uses. If you frequently fly American or Southwest between those cities, it's worth a try, saving you an hour on each end of the flight, plus the frustration of unpredictable TSA lines at any of the major airports in Texas. Mountain Aviation, based in Denver, Colorado, has put together several programs that they call flying clubs, in which members can share flights on popular routes to and from Telluride and to and from Sun Valley on a Citation 10, XL, or Ultra at fixed costs. For those of you who like control, PlaneSmart, which is based in Texas, offers a fractional share, lease, or rental program in aircraft like the Cirrus SR-22. The Cirrus is a single engine plane with a pretty sophisticated avionics panel. In fact, the same plane that Angelina Jolie flies. If you have similar aspirations, Plane Smart can provide a pilot or teach you to fly it yourself. While there are more planes in the US than any other region, operators outside of North America are experimenting with different models also. In Europe, Blink offers an air taxi service on Citation Mustangs for as little as 500 pounds per seat. Blissjet, the first operator to offer individual seats on private flights between New York and London, boasts a 30-minute check-in, expedited customs, instant baggage claim, and ground transportation meeting you plainside. Their posted fares are $12,000 one way, which is far less expensive than chartering the entire plane especially if you're flying by yourself. We believe more and more programs will pop up as savvy travelers like you and me create more demand for hassle-free flying. If there's a route you'd like to see or another program you know about, let us know in the comments section below. We've covered a lot of ground in this video today and at a 40,000 foot view. By now, you should have a good idea that private aviation can be more affordable than you once thought. As a small business owner myself, I use a combination of commercial and private aviation. If I'm going across the country by myself and there's a nonstop flight, commercial makes sense. If I need to take my team to a location in an adjacent state where there's not convenient service, we'll charter a turboprop or even a twin engine piston plane to take us there. Once you start adding up the value of your hours, the ROI makes a lot more sense. And there are plenty of starting points. Getting back to my friend Sharon, who travels all over the world talking about financial literacy, but enjoys quiet weekends at her ranch and wants to spend less time traveling, I recommended that she get her feet wet with Wheels Up and maybe Jet Smarter. She can use Wheels Up to shorten her trip to the ranch. When she has to come back to civilization, the plane can drop off her family in Scottsdale, pick up her assistant with a new suitcase of clothes, and proceed to the next speaking obligation. When she's in metropolitan areas, the Jet Smarter options appeal to her strict budgeting mentality. Sharon now has a plan, one that frees her up to spend more time with her family and more time making a difference with her clients. The only thing she's sacrificing is the rapid accumulation of her Marriott rewards points. What we didn't talk about in this video are all the ways you can waste money on private aviation. As you can imagine, there aren't many consumer protections for people who can afford private flight. It pays to be an educated customer. And in the next and last video, of this Game Changer workshop, I'm going to give you some inside tips on what to watch out for, whether you're a first-time flyer or you've owned half a dozen planes. Over the decades of buying and selling aircraft all over the world, we've seen a lot of shady deals and heard our fair share of horror stories. We'll also share a little more about the Clear Skies Club, and you'll be able to download the Blueprint for Successful Aircraft Ownership which will save you countless headaches and thousands of dollars. In the meantime, be sure to forward this video series to that partner who has been naysaying the private aviation plan 
or your neighbor who never seems to find time in his or her schedule for anything. I look forward to sharing the next video with you.